Hey guys, so this is our guinea pig haul. If you're watching this, it'll be after we got the guinea pigs, but we're filming this before the guinea pigs because we wanted to keep it a surprise. So the whole point of this video was we were looking for commercial indoor cages. We decided to go for that instead of a CNC cage with having the cats. It was purely out of a safety aspect. And while looking at cages, they were ranging anywhere between 80 and 120 pounds for a 120 by 60 centimeter cage, which is the minimum standard set by the RSPCA. And we thought that was ridiculous. <laughs> so we set ourselves a budget of 100 pounds to try and get everything that we needed to start up for the guinea pigs, which was quite a challenge. But we did it with a lot of hard work and research. So this is everything that we got, so we hope you enjoy. The first thing is the cage. This is the Skyline Maxi XXL, which was from Zoo Plus at £34.90, which was an absolute bargain. The only thing to say about this cage is it is one centimetre below the minimum standard. It is 119 centimetres by 59 centimetres, but I honestly don't think that's going to make too much of a difference. Next things we got, we are going down the fleece route for our guinea pigs. So the first essential thing that we were going to need is towels. We got these towels from Poundland, the two guest towels. They're from Poundland, so they're a pound each. And it's a pack of two and one pack should cover the base of our cage, we're hoping. We're hoping. We got two packs of those. We have also donated a few of our old towels, so these are free. <laughs> The next thing, also a cage essential for us, was the fleeces. Now this is actually the first thing we bought quite a while ago. These fleeces were from Lidl's and they were $4.99 each. We didn't know if we were getting boys or girls, so we got a Hello Kitty one and a Spider-Man one. Next, for cage essentials, we got the Trixie Corner Litter Tray. This is from Zoo Plus and it was on special offer for $2.99. I think that might be one of their kind of permanent special offers. You notice that with Zoo Plus, some things have special prices and they just stay at that price. And this has been $2.99 ever since I started using Zoo Plus. So I have a feeling that it's always going to be $2.99. The next thing, and that's to go in the tray, we chose to go with the Carefresh Naturals purely because we use this with the hamsters anyway and this is from Vet UK, it's the 14 litre and it was £3.85 we had a 10% off coupon so it was 3 dollars with the 10% off all our Vet UK stuff has 10% off so the prices will be slightly different to what you see on the website the Next thing, which is also another cage essential, is the Living World glass water bottle. This is the medium size from Zoo Plus and it was $4.99. It's glass, so it's pretty indestructible, it's chew proof, it keeps water fresher for longer and it's really essential with guinea pigs and rabbits, I think, to get a glass bottle. The next thing which is another very essential thing is food bowls mm. this is the orange munch food bowl and, and this is the nibble food bowl with carts on it these are from pets at home they were 20 percent off at the time of purchasing so these were two pounds each next thing that is essential for guinea pigs is hidey houses and we saw this on Amazon. It was just too cute. Mega Had cute. to buy it. It was four ninety nine, which was a little bit more than I'd want to spend on a Heidi house considering on a budget, but we just couldn't resist. No. So this is from Amazon. It's four ninety nine. It's called Strawberry Egg Glue. It did come from China or Hong Kong, but the delivery was actually really good on it. It was due 
either between the 26th of August to the 8th of September was its due time to be delivered, but we got it on the 21st of August. So it was really good delivery, a fantastic price. This was the cheapest price I could find these strawberry egg glues at, and it is just too cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see your piggies in there. I know, it's going to be so cute. The next thing is the last essential thing I think we got, and that is a, the Trixie Play Tunnel for Bunnies. This was from Zooplus and it was on offer for $2.99. If you go to the guinea pig section, I'm pretty sure this doesn't show up. It only shows up in the bunny section. And I already took out the packaging to show you how long Ooh, this what can is. I get it, in? <laughs> it is the same length as the cage. It's absolutely huge and it was only $2.99. I honestly That's can't believe the value for life. Seriously good value for money, guys. So I'm so impressed with this. And I've got a sneaking suspicion we'll maybe buy another one at some point. <laughs> so now we're moving on to toys. So the first toy that we got is this cat ball with Belle and it is from Poundland so it was only a pound. I've seen other people get things like this for their guinea pigs and they love to roll it round, they love anything with bells in and this is just too cute. It's hmm. beyond words how cute it is. The next toy is from the Woodlands range at Pets at Home. It's the small bulrush ball. It's just made of natural materials. This was on offer for £1. So they can chew it up. Something a bit more interesting than cardboard or wood. And they might have fun rolling that around as well. The next toy is also from Pets at Home. This is the Beaks Sunflower Mirror. This is from the bird section. Guinea pigs like mirrors and things because when they look at themselves in a mirror they think it's another guinea pig. So they should enjoy that. And it has a cute little bell on as well, which guinea pigs also love because they like to make a racket. <laughs> and that was two pounds. I can't remember if I said how much it was. <laughs> the last toy is the hanging veggie basket. This one was from Pet UK and it was two pounds and two pence. Again, it has a cute little bell on and you just stick veggies or hay in it. I and love the design of that. Really is good. It gives them something a bit more fun to work for their food with. The next lot of stuff that we've got is their food. So, we've gone with the Burgess XL Tasty Nuggets. These come highly recommended by most people. This is the black currant and oregano ones. They were from Vet UK and it was £3.51 for this two kilogram bag, which is fantastic value for money considering it is £6 for us to get them from Pets at Home, which is our only local pet store. So this was really good value for money for us. Definitely. The next thing we got, and that's really essential for guinea pigs, is hay. This is the Pet UK Natural Meadow Hay. And it was £2.27 for each 2 kilogram pack that we got. Um, really good value for money. It's dust free. It's good enough for them to eat. It's not just a cheaper hay for bedding in, it's for eating as well and it looks quite good. It is a little bit brown um, but there is a lot of green in it as well so it's quite fresh and quite good quality. We're running out of space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next thing is these Burgess XL nature apple snacks. Uh, guinea pigs don't really need treats very much because it can be quite bad for them. But this is perfectly natural. It's just 100% um, natural things. I think it's apple, basil and something else. Just dried herbs and apple. And that was from Vet UK at £1.29. And the next thing is also from that same range, the Burgess XL Nature Snacks, and this is the Gnaw Sticks. 
These were also from Vet UK at £1.29. And this is just a selection of Atball, Willow, and Hazel sticks. So again, it's something more interesting for them to chew than just a piece of wood or some cardboard. The next category of stuff that was essential for us to get was some health products. So the first thing we got was some of this Bob Martin Spot On. This was from Vet UK and was £2.34. We thought it'd be important to get this um, just to give them a quick treatment once we get them home. The next thing was this Walter Harrison's Bristle Brush, which was from Vet UK also, and it was £1.98. Um, we know that they're going to be short hair guinea pigs, so this should be fine for them. And the last thing for health we got was the Walter Harrison's Nail Clippers. These are from Vet UK and they are £2.29. This is a big essential for guinea pigs. They need their nails clipped about once weekly. So this was really important and it was a brilliant bargain considering a lot of places their nail clippers are about five pounds. Really? Yeah. Oof. So the first thing that we got for cleaning was the Johnston's Clean and Safe for Small Animals. This was from Pets at Home. It was 20% off at the time and it was £2.80. The next thing are these microfiber tea towels and these are from Poundland. <laughs> So they were a pound. It's a pack of two. So one will be for cleaning with the disinfectant and the other will be for cleaning with water just afterwards. The next cleaning thing was this bottle brush from Zoo Plus. It's one ninety nine. It's just a standard bottle brush for cleaning their bottles. It has two different tips. It's got a different tip in the handle and the normal bottle brush at the end. Nothing particularly exciting about that, but it is an essential. The next cleaning thing we got was for spot cleaning. And this is just a regular dustpan and brush, which was from Pound Stretcher for 99 pence. And the last thing, we sacrificed some pillowcases for cleaning everything in. So the fleeces and towels get put in the pillowcases, put a hair bobble around them and put them in the washing machine. Otherwise our washing machine is going to get clogged up with hay and all kinds of food and things if you just shove them in a washing machine. So this is basically our wash bag. So that was everything that we got. It's a great starting point. We'll still need to buy new toys and things like that every so often to keep them entertained. We did really well for our £100 budget and everything came in under budget at £98.73. Now that was with a few things on special offer and we did have a 10% off code from Vet UK, but I think we did really well and it just goes to prove if you shop around and do a little bit of research into different stores, you can get some really good deals and you really can get everything you need for a really good price rather than having to pay £120 just for a cage. So I hope you found that interesting. I hope it gave you a good idea of everything that you need for your guinea pigs to start off with. We got some really cute things some really big things and some extra essentials like the spot on and things for a really good price. So if you liked this and found it interesting, please hit like. If you are looking forward to more of our videos, then please hit subscribe. And if you want to hear any reviews or anything about anything in particular, then please comment and we will be happy to do some reviews and things on what we bought. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.